Welcome to Open for Business. Today, we're about to enter the beautiful world of flowers at Lansing Floral. Let's go inside and chat with Sherm, and he's gonna tell us everything there is to know about Lansing Floral. We're delighted to be here today with Sherm at Lansing Floral. Sherm, thanks so much for giving us the time today and letting us in on everything that goes on around here. You're welcome. <laughs> I hear that Lansing Floral is over 40 years old. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, my father bought the business in 1969, August, and we've been here ever since. He's sort of semi-retired, but he still comes in to help us every day. And well, with that's the greenhouse great. And I mean, you have how many people are working here now for you? Uh, we have four designers and one driver. Okay, and so you do the deliveries, of course. Yeah. Yeah. The driver does the deliveries. My brother and I do a lot of the funeral work. The girls, they uh, make up the corsages, arrangements, take care of the trade, the walk in trade, okay. things of like that. Nature. And so for now, we're in a season. And the season, I think, is prom season, but the seasons of the year really dictate the kind of flowers maybe that you would use and, and other things, right? It used to. Now you can get just about whatever you want, whenever you want, if the consumer is willing to pay the price. They, you can get Lily of the Valley in the middle of December shipped from overseas if you want. Okay, but so right expensive. through this shop then I could ask you for a, an exotic flower yes. and then you could find that for me somewhere in the world yes. and get it to me. Yes. That's awesome. And so when you hit a season like prom season or um, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, any of those that people would typically order flowers for, do you find yourself very busy and ordering a lot of flowers and then having some so that people can just come in and buy them off the street if they want? Uh, the flowers we get in for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, things like that, mm -hmm. are usually pre-booked anywhere from two to four months in advance. Uh, the markets down in South America and overseas, they set the price, so we know in advance how we have to adjust our prices here. Uh, okay. One of the problems we have, like this coming up, uh, Mother's Day, we have prom the same weekend for TF South. So not only do we have to worry about the prom flowers and have the extra flowers for that, but the flowers we need for the everyday work and the Mother's Day orders that are coming in. Okay. And so I understand too, though, that people could go online to your website yes, and they, they could can. order there. Is they that right? They can order over the website. Prices are basically the same as if they come into the store. Mm -hmm. The only thing with the websites is there's... If you say you want orange roses and you put it in for uh, uh, over the website, I can't tell you until I get the order that there's no orange roses available. Then I have to contact you again and you lose that personal service that a lot of stores don't have anymore. Right. Let's talk about that a minute. So if someone comes in, mm -hmm. I know they're going to get personal service because I've walked in and been greeted right away and you can talk about just about anything, maybe not even flowers for that matter, mm -hmm. um, what's going on around town. It's fun to catch up. But say that I walked in and I said to you, well, I really want something to take home today to a friend or my spouse. I know that you keep things ready-made uh, for people to pick up. Yes, we have pre-made arrangements in our coolers and then we have a uh, big walk-in cooler in the back with loose flowers. You can pick out whatever you want colors you want and then we would make it custom right there while you wait for us. Okay and then of course we could also talk about planning an event like a wedding or yes. any kind of a, a thing where I would need maybe more flowers at one time where you yes. would have to come and deliver and set up and that kind of thing. Correct. We do the weddings. We have some very good uh, wedding planners here. They know what they're doing. Let's put it that way. They can take care of everything from the bouquets to the boutonnieres to the centerpieces to a rehearsal dinner the day before if you want. Right. Well, flowers are very, very beautiful and you get to work with them every single day. Yes, and I want to know do. if you have a favorite flower. My favorite flower are orange roses. Orange roses. Yes. And why would that be? You're not a, you're not a just, Tennessee fan, are you? They're just vibrant and in color. It makes you smile when you see them. <laughs> 
Awesome. All flowers make me smile. Thank you for having a beautiful flower shop. Thank you. It's awesome. Well, I know that there are some things already being created in the back yes. today. And I'd like to know if we could go back there and have a look at the creation process. Sure. Not a problem. All we have to do is go to the back building. All right. Are you uh, ready to go? Sure. All right. Let's go. Okay. Crystal, thanks so yes. much for letting us watch you do this. It looks oh, like such a you. neat creative process. So exactly what are you doing here? Making a, um, a standing spray. Okay, and a lot of times when I look at these things, I wonder how the flowers get in their positions. So do you have to learn how to do that like a special course or something? No, no. So it's a gift and a talent, and you just kind yes. of learn mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I, I, I learned on the job here. All right, mm -hmm. so it's a visual thing with the colors and everything? That's so yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the flowers you're putting in? Um, daisies, snapdragons, eucalyptus, stargazers. Wow, mm -hmm. they're all really, really pretty. How many years have you been doing this, Crystal? Uh, 15 this year. So you have a lot of experience, and when you look at mm -hmm. one of these things, you probably already have in your mind the way you want bit. it to look, a right? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What about if customers request certain colors, then you have to go with those flowers that are yes. in those colors, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, it's kind of nice when they have designer choice, because that way we can do our own yeah. thing, but sometimes customers don't like designer's choice, they want to have their own Sure, yeah, that makes thing, sense, so. that makes sense. Now, um, you're doing this while you're talking to me, so yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's second nature to you, mm -hmm. but um, do you think I could put one of those flowers in there if you show sure. it? Sure, yeah. Like over here on this side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just cut it on an angle, and then there's, um, uh, maybe you, you should want cut it sharp. Maybe you should cut oh. it for me. I think that's a you good idea. You want it sharp because it has to go through a oh, plastic yeah, I was here. wondering about how they got them to stick in there. And just just fill it in there. Plastic, so mm -hmm. it just goes right through. Is this right. Oh, that's right. Is that good, right there? You want to you can hold on the back, yeah, okay, and then just right. put it right in there. All right. Wow, that's nice. And then you also have all these different. The textures uh, become alive when you have mm -hmm. the different angles of the flowers, and then the different distances from the center. So you're really creating kind of a glo yeah. kind mm -hmm. of a global picture. Right. That's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Charm. Crystal said we could come back here to the greenhouse. I hope that was okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Well, the greenhouse is beautiful, and it's got all of these green leafy plants and flowers and stuff in it. Can you tell us why you have the greenhouse? What do you use it for? Greenhouse is a holding facility for when we get our poinsettias in at Christmas time, Easter lilies, and right now we're starting to get spring stock in, like the geranium plants here and New Guinean patients that are mm -hmm. going to be for sale pretty soon. They're, they're almost ready. And then we also make up our own dish gardens and planters that you see over here. Some of them are mm -hmm. the European style with the green plants as well as the blooming plants mixed in with them as, regu as well as regular uh, green plants like the spathophyllums that we have sitting on the bench here and things of that nature. Okay, so it's really a climate controlled place, yes. obviously, yes. and uh, it gets a lot of sunlight, a lot of good light. A lot of sunlight. We like the sunlight in the winter time because it cuts down on the heating bill. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you really have to keep a lot going here. You have the greenhouse, then yes. you have the creation area, and then you have the greeting area in front. So Correct. There are quite quite a few uh, portions then to the business itself. Yes. Not to mention everything that goes on, like deliveries and everything outside of the business. So, yeah, right. and the book work and the paying the bills right. and all, all the other stuff. stuff that gets done after hours. Right. Well, thanks for bringing us here to the greenhouse. This Not is a, a beautiful place to wrap up for today. Thanks for coming. Well, you're welcome. We're glad to be here. And we've been visiting with Sherm at Lansing Floral. And Lansing Floral is open for business. I'm Renee Hale, and I'll see you next time.